Hello, my name is Alexander. I'm a quant and I've been working in finance for more than 12 years and I have a physics background, so I'm a physicist. What you can see here, it's a very simple scenario where we have a bank, bank defaulting, whatever bank in an economy with two consequences. These are modeled through these two arrows and two consequences, the two of consequences could be adjustments of the risk premium denoted by this circle, which is, I repeat again, these are stochastic variables, and restriction of credit to the economy, which could have another consequence, which is restriction of, of course, credit would cause a correction in the housing market, so house prices uh, fall. So you see that this is a scenario which unfolds in a temporal direction, has a certain uh, uh, direction of causality, which is that of the temporal uh, uh, arrow. Uh, you see that uh, each event can cause another event, but we don't have arrows connecting all the events. This means that, for example, house prices fall is screened from bank default through the restriction of credit to the economy. So you see this is not just a question of measuring correlation between, between variables. This is understanding how uh, variables interact in a, in a causal manner. So this one is, is very uh, much event-based. Uh, of course, this uh, Macroeconomic, these variables can be macroeconomic. For example, a fall of GDP could, co uh, uh, could cause r uh, a rising unemployment, or a rising uh, GDP could cause, let's say, a shock to positive shock to inflation. But this is uh, very much an event based scenario based on our understanding of causality in the real world. So here is a second uh, example, uh, one uh, which embodies associational relationships. We have three entities, A, B, and C, and we consider the, the probabilities of default. So these are again stochastic random variables, so we don't have default of A happening with 100%, but with a certain probability which is encoded in the node. And we have that these events, some of them interact with, with uh, each other. So we have the interaction between the default of A and the default of B, the default of A and the default of C, but we have that B and C do not interact directly, uh, directly in the sense that their probabilities of default um, are mediated through the probability of default of uh, entity A. So this, uh, this uh, graphical model expresses, uh, expresses associational uh, relationships, uh, ones that take into account the structure of the economy in, in this sense. And we know, for example, that uh, uh, B and C don't have any commercial relationships if there are two countries, for example, so they should not influence directly uh, their probabilities of defaults, but uh, their relationship could come from true entity A, so the probability of defaults of these two entities is mediated through this intermediate uh, entity. So this graphical model reflects our structural understanding of how the economy interacts through the debt uh, structure. Okay, and this is the master formula, which is the building block of uh, Bayesian networks, which are a kind of probabilistic graphical model I, I dis uh, discuss in the book. It is very simple. It says that the joint probability of an event happening is equal to the product of the conditional probability of each event or node in the network, given the status of its parents. What it means with here with a very simple example. So if I wanted to know the joint probability of A, B, and C occurring together. What I have to provide is the conditional probability of B happening, uh, B happening given knowledge of its parent A, but no information about C. In this sense, A screens B and C. So I have to provide local information here. The same for A and C. What I have to provide is the conditional probability of A happening given the status of C, regardless of, of B. So after I assign all this local information to the entire network, and of course for larger network, uh, the, set, the, the advantage is, is even more visible, I have to group these probabilities in a chain. And this master formula is this chain multiplication that from local assignments of probability gives the global joint probability.
This is, in essence, a very simple rule, and it has uh, its roots in probability theory. So it's not something which derives from graph, graph theory, but it, it is deeply rooted in uh, probability theory. So it's a very uh, well-known formula in uh, probability uh, theory. It's very simple, and I repeat, from easier to assign, assign local probabilities, it gives a global picture, which is the joint probability uh, distribution of a uh, model.